This video shows how to install the ABB ACS355 machinery drive. Start by making the work environment safe by switching off the power supply and securing the disconnection. The drive package contains the drive with basic panel. In this video we are installing the drive on the DIN rail with assistant panel and Profibus field bus adapter. Disconnect the EMC filter grounding screw if you have an IT or corner grounded TN network system. Prepare the clamping plate and the groundings with care in order to avoid radio frequency disturbances and to ensure safety of the complete drive system. In this example, we mount the drive to the DIN rail. To detach the drive, press the release lever on top of the drive. It is also possible to install the drive through the mounting holes. Please pay attention to the air circulation inside the installation cabinet. Check the user's manual for the cooling air volume to prepare sufficient air ventilation inside your enclosure or cabinet. To ensure the safety of the drive system, installation of the circuit breaker is required. Next, strip the input power and motor cables. Note that the conductivity of the PE conductor must match with the same cross-sectional area as the phase conductors, or check the manual for the conductor size. Ground the bare shield of the cable 360 degrees under the grounding clamp. Fasten the PE conductor of the input power cable under the grounding clamp. Connect the phase conductors to the motor and input terminals. After that, connect the phase conductor to the circuit breaker and the drive. Fasten the control cable clamps to the clamping plate. Pull the control cable under the grounding clamp and tighten the clamp. The simplest way to control the drive with I.O. is to connect the drive according to the user manual's default I.O. connections. The terminal markings can be found on the inner side of the terminal cover. A field bus module is connected after the I.O. connection. Connect the module to the drive by pressing the lock on the top and tighten the grounding screw on the lower left corner of the field bus module. Open the lock securing the disconnection and switch on the supply. The drive is now powered and ready for setup and commissioning. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website.